In this tutorial, we'll look at the sub-objects of three different object types, the point, the curve, and a surface, or a B-rep. So first, let's just start with a point. If I create a point in um, Rhino, and then I bring that point into Grasshopper, let's set one point, um, then we can actually deconstruct this point and get the X, Y, and Z um, components of that point, so the locations of the X, Y, and Z value. Um, if you go to Deconstruct Point, which is located under Vector Point, so it's right next to the Construct Point, you have the Deconstruct Point, and so you can plug that in, and then if we do a panel, you can see the actual value um, and location along the X axis of that point, so it's negative 12.2 in the X direction. You can do that for each of those different X, Y, Z components. Um, you can also do uh, a curve, so let's just say I do a P-line or a curve or a NURBS curve, works for any of these, and I bring that curve into Grasshopper. Uh, if you want to get to the sub-objects of the curve, which would be the segments and the vertices, you can explode the curve, and so you can plug the curve in and that will give you the segments and the vertices. So for example, if I do another curve, um, um, container off of the segments that will contain all of those segments. So if I um, control and paste uh, the panel you can see that all of the different line segments will show up in this panel. So it breaks this up into one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five line-like curves. Um, you can also get the vertices. So if I do a point out of here you can um, drag the points out and it will do the same thing for all the points. So the XYZ locations for each of those points. And we're going to go over lists a little bit later, but this is a list. And so it's a list of all the geometry that's contained within that component. And if you need to access just one of these different items, you can use what's called a list item component. And this will take a list of data, and it could be text or any kind of data. Um, in this case, it's geometry um, in this panel. And you can actually find the index of a specific item, almost like an address for that geometry from the list. So it's designated by uh, this number, which is the index number, or the item number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so this is the index um, component, or the um, input here. So we could do a slider that goes from 0, less than 5. Notice lists always start with 0 and not 1, so 0 is actually the first value. You can then plug that in here. Let's just preview off um, all of this. You can see as I toggle this index, I, I can extract the first point, the second point, third point, etc. So that's a way to get a very specific item out of a list of geometry. The next thing we'll look at is the deconstruct BREP. So if I'm over here and I make a box, um, we can bring this box into Grasshopper as a BREP. So I'll select one BREP. And then if I want to access the sub-objects of that geometry, which would be the faces and the vertice points, um, I can do what's called deconstruct BREP. So I can plug my BREP into the BREP input, and then that will give me faces, edges, which are the segments, and the vertices. So once again, I can actually pull items out of there. And I actually don't need this container. I can go directly from the faces. And if I preview this off, you can see that um, as I toggle this, it selects uh, different faces. So each face gets an index number. And then I can select a specific sub-object from that geometry by using deconstruct BREP.